So that was the video of the USS Theodore Roosevelt with their former skipper, their former CEO, Brett Crozier. I'm sorry if I jack up that name. Brett Crozier leaving the ship after he was relieved of his duty. So for those of you who don't know, this captain raised a, a, a flag on issues that were going on with the ship. He originally started off with two people sick, got those airlifted, but then bam, out of nowhere, he had 100 people sick with the coronavirus or COVID-19, whatever they're calling it these days. I think it's I think it's COVID-19 because Corona probably made a complaint to them that their beer sales are low, but COVID-19. So because of that, he was saying that it's very uh, bad to have this sickness and virus on the ship. Because for those of you who don't know, it's very confined compartments on a ship. I've never been on a ship. I have been in GP mediums and we got stacked bodies on top of bodies inside of a GP medium, so I can only understand with everything else on this floating city jam packed into a small little sardines. So, if those of you don't know what I'm talking about, go ahead and Google life on a ship or Google pictures of life in uh, sleeping quarters on a, on an aircraft carrier. You know, th they're jam packed in there, you know, and sometimes you even have to hot rack it. You know, that's uh, for those of you who don't know what hot rack is, is a uh, let's say you're doing a 12 on 12 off, so one person's working for 12 hours and he's down sleeping and resting for 12 hours. So one person sleeps in the bed for 12 hours and then it gets off and it goes on duty. Well, the person that was on duty comes off and sleeps for 12 hours or he's down. So that's a hot wreck. Um, but I get it. I understand. Um, for those of you who don't know, the position of the commanding officer of a command is he is ultimately responsible for everybody under his command. And that includes the safety and security of the ship. So how safe and secure is the ship if everybody's going down with the coronavirus that could possibly kill people? Um there's also, you know, what we do know is that he sent out a letter. Um, what we do know is that on March 24th, the San Francisco Chronicle received that letter somehow that was leaked out. And they also posted it, which I do have a link below from the San Francisco Chronicle, which it actually has the actual letter um, that was sent out. But this is where rumors or what the what we call scuttlebutt, you know, rumors and gossip is that. You, I heard that he did use the chain of command and he didn't use the chain of command. Um, I heard that the task force commander was on the ship. And I also heard that he wasn't on the ship. I heard that he leaked it. But then again, I heard that the 20 or 30 people he sent this letter out to that they leaked it out. Um, what is the truth? I don't know. If you guys have a link to some of this information that I just stated, please put it in the description box below so I can read it. So because of that, it's hard for me to make a decision, but just purely based on what I know, um, the very little that I know, is that what he did, what he also thought was the best uh, thought or best idea to do, is bring attention to what is going on for the safety of his ship, which they are now doing. They're doing what he was he asked, even though he's not the CEO anymore. They they are now doing that. Uh, they got him docked in Guam. They're going to start slowly releasing sailors to be quarantined. And then uh, go from there. But today or yesterday, the Secretary of the Navy released a statement and from the press. And I also have a link to that below so you can read that. Basically removing him from command based off that he had no confidence in him being the CEO of that ship. And of course, when you read the letter, it, it goes paragraph by paragraph of, of a timeline and why he did it. And because after all of that. That's a because of this or something like that stated something like that because of this. This is why I'm removing them. So basically, they're saying that he did not. So what the secretary of Navy is stating is that he did not use the chain of command and he just went ahead and sent out these letters and it, and that the secretary of Navy knew nothing about it. And the CNO knew nothing about it until uh, it was posted in a newspaper, San Francisco Chronicle. So because of that, they personally talked to him on the phone and said, we'll give you all the resources, all this other stuff. We'll help you out, blah, blah. And that it was never brought to their attention, but he still went on and did that. So I don't know. I don't know what's the truth in that. And, and, and it's really hard to know what's the truth and what's scuttlebutt or what's a rumor or what's gossip. So definitely, if you guys have a link to any of that below, uh, or if you have a link of any of that information, please put it in the description box below. But what do you guys think? Did Captain Brett uh, Crozier uh, do the right thing? What do you guys think? And also, too, if you're a, uh, a senior NCO or you're a chief's mess, um, for those who don't know, senior NCOs, chief's mess, are the E7 to E9 enlisted. They kind of handle all the enlisted and, and they're the workhorse, they're, they're the leadership. 
it's actually the first people you go to when you need help or you need uh, safety, you need weapons, you need ammo, you need, I don't know, phone cards to call home. You know, you're having issues at home. Those are the people that you first hit up first. But they also have in each command a, uh, depending on what branch of service, you have command sergeant major or you have your command master chief and they're pretty much the liaison between listed and the CEO, you know, kind of like an advisor and all that other stuff. And it makes me wonder um, what, uh, what the CMC was telling Brett during all of this. So definitely if you're a senior NTO, if you're part of the chief Smith, what do you think? Was this the right move to do as a CEO uh, for the enlisted or not? So please let's, let's get a discussion going. I really want to talk about this. So please put your comments below. Let's, uh, let's uh, debate and discuss about this. Like always, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Please share with other veterans. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting veterans. And I also want to say thank you for all my subscribers. We just hit uh, the 200 mark. Um, I think we're at like 210, 209. Uh, so thank you for everyone uh, that is subscribing. I do appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for supporting the channel. So definitely thank you. And big shout out to all of you guys. Um, like always, be safe. Be kind to each other during this time. Uh, be safe. Wash your hands 20 seconds. And, and wash your butt, you know? <laughs> so... Thank you for watching the channel. Thank you for watching the video. And like I always say, carry on.